Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is the Earthmaster out here. Thursday, June 6, 2024. It's about 5.38 p.m. California time, 7.38 p.m. Central time out here in Texas. Got uh, some earthquake activity out here to chat about uh, in the Southern California area. Just within the last hour, a 3.6, a 3.4, and a 1.6 coming into the area in the Newport Beach area, uh, south of the Los Angeles region. It looks like this has popped, or at least kicked up on the Newport Inglewood Fault, which is um, a pretty dangerous fault system in itself. Uh, this 3.6 was felt by quite a few folks. Of course, there has been some elevated earthquake activity out here recently in the California region, and we're continuing that even to this to this night. Uh, I still think we need to watch out for some larger scale potential out here. Uh, there's the did you feel it responses. Quite a few folks reporting uh, this earthquake this evening. Um, pretty much all over the Southern California, or at least the Los Angeles area. Uh, now again, this struck, it looks like on the New, Newport Inglewood Fault, which is um, not a huge slip accumulator. It is on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. And it uh, looks like average slip rate is about 0.6 mm per year, which is actually uh, fairly minimal. But in, in that term, it tells me that it takes quite a while, hundreds of years for that to build up enough strain and accumulation for a big earthquake. But it is capable of producing a 6.0 to 7.4 earthquake. Um, and there's been a, a study here recently, a few years back, concluded that together, the Newport, Newport, Newport Inglewood Fault and Rose Canyon Fault could produce an earthquake of 7.3 to 7.4. Uh, this is actually a fairly new fault discovery. It was discovered back in uh, 1920 uh, when a 4.9 struck there. And, um, you know, obviously there's definitely some concern of uh, potential larger activity out here. Again, looking at this, even on the Southern California Earthquake Data Center, these guys showing uh, the most recent surface rupture, a 6.4. Well, no, see, but no surface rupture. That's counter <laughs> counteracting what it just said here. But March 10, 1933, there was an M 6.4 there with no surface rupture. So that in itself tells me that there could still be quite a bit of strain out there with this fault system there where we're seeing the earthquake activity tonight. Again, not big earthquake activity, but this just goes along with the swarms of earthquake activity we've seen here in the last couple weeks or so. Uh, of course, you know, most notably, this earthquake swarm south here of the Mexicali area. Uh, we've seen swarms up along the um, Brawley seismic zone as well. We've got to go back the last couple weeks here, last 30 days to see the uh, more recent activity here. Separate swarms up and down the region. Of course, the San Andreas Fault here had a little bit of swarming around it. There's always some concern of larger scale movement on the plate boundary because it's been well over 300 years since we've seen a full rupture here on the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. And that's capable of producing an 8.1. There's so many fault systems out here that are well overdue. I'm sure some fault systems that haven't even really been discovered out here. Uh, but for now, this one looks like it did occur on the Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon Fault Zone, uh, the South Los Angeles Basin section here. And um, haven't really seen a whole lot of activity specifically right here. Uh, so this tells me right now that there's still quite a bit of regional stress out here, folks, against the Southern California area. Uh, these earthquakes coming in about 12 to 13 kilometers deep there. Originally, one of these quakes stirred up on the, um, I think it was the San Diego Trough Fault out here, which sits out in the Pacific. Um, I believe it was this one. And this one in itself, I think, uh, what did you say, a 7.9 for the uh, San Diego Trough one? Yes. This one here in itself is capable of producing a significant earthquake here. Of course, that's Missy Mimi's here in the background. We are on location out here in Texas. A little bit of R&R. &R. And, uh, of course, we always bring our, our studies of geology with us as well. So we're also looking at 
some geology activity out here in Texas. But uh, yeah, a little tired. It's been a long day. Flew over here from Sacramento, California, out here in the Gulf Coast area of Texas. And um, it's beautiful, but I'm tired. I, I think I only got one hour of sleep last night, if that. So I'm going to uh, get this update through here. And um, again, we'll continue to keep an eye on this. Uh, Northern California, a handful of, eh, most of the earthquake activities up here across the Clear Lake volcanic field, the hydrothermal plants that are ongoing up there. Uh, one earthquake up here around Carson City, a little small microquake, 1.1. Pacific Northwest, relatively small activity. Uh, what do we got down here? 2.2, the latest quake here on the map. This 2.2, if you look, follows this movement up here just by minutes. So we had uh, three earthquakes here within a very short time frame of each other, and then about 10 minutes or so later, seeing some further activity south of this area. Uh, so again, regional stress as a whole is quite high out here. It's not centered just on one location. If that was the case, we wouldn't see all these swarms here recently all over the Southern California area. So just be prepared. Keep an eye on uh, you know, numerous fault systems, including the plate boundary, the San Andreas Fault there. Uh, Texas out here, some oil fields getting hit with uh, earthquake activity. The rest of the Earth here, or flat scale model Earth, and doesn't really show too much larger scale activity out here in the last 24 hours. We did see pretty deep earthquake here in the Sea of Osk, a 5.9 earthquake well below 622 kilometers deep. Now that is uh, that is a deep one and of course uh, we've been watching this area closely because that region has not seen a large earthquake in quite some time and that's a major subduction zone here. The Kuril Kamachaka Trench very capable of producing a mega quake out here and um, it doesn't take hundreds of years for strain to build up out here. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's coming. This deeper earthquake activity reassures me that it's gonna be a big one when this thing does go. So keep an eye on this area as, as well. Haven't really seen any surface adjustment following that 5.9. Um, neither on the globe here either. So this is just uh, the earthquake 3D globe here on the laptop here where I'm doing my update. Live stream, of course, is still ongoing at home and will continue to go on. Um, let's see what else we got here. Minimal movement here across the New Guinea area. It does look like some of this movement from yesterday and early this morning. No large scale activity to report there across that region uh, for now. New Zealand area, older movement here from yesterday. So uh, if you look at the globe here, a lot of newer activity. Looks like uh, the Kuril Kamachaka being one of them. West Coast activity there in Southern California. South America as well. And down into the South Sandwich Trench here. We've got uh, a little bit of swarming occurring up and down the plate boundary out there. The subduction zone level itself. Um, three earthquakes here in the uh, last couple hours or so. Northern edge of the South Sandwich Trench here. Subduction zone. Did see some activity here yesterday, it looks like, a little bit further south, but uh, getting some adjustment up here on the northern side now, so plates, the plates are in motion for sure. Uh, let's see, yeah, so keep an eye here in Southern California. Um, see what else we got here for space weather activity. Go over to the solarham.com site, and uh, we'll check out see if there's any flaring going on here. We did see a, a decent M flare earlier from departing sunspot, 3697, which is over here. It does look like it's currently flaring. That regional sunspot is a source of numerous X flares here recently, and also, of course, last month with the long duration, or the uh, historic event of auroras down to some very low latitudes uh, last month here. That was the source of it. It does look like it's continuing to fade away, but it's holding on just barely, uh, but that will continue to drift further out there across the southwestern limb of the sun. And we are left with, uh, let's see what we got out here. We're left with a whole lot of 
disorganized activity out here. Really nothing of major interest uh, that I could spot. We've got to watch this area back across the eastern limb here. It does look like there's a little bit of complexity within that new sunspot core. We'll keep an eye on it. Overall threat out here right now shows a 10% chance for X flare, M flare around 50%, C flare around 99% chance or so. Uh, so things are going down, but we'll continue to watch it uh, for some flaring. I think right now the main thing is watching the uh, activity there in California. Let's see what we got for trimmer activity here across the Cascadia uh, right now. It doesn't look like it's been updated yet. Uh, we have been seeing some over the last week and a half, two weeks or so. Mainly trimmer occurring down into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, really no major surface adjustment going on aside from some uh, small microquake activity upstream here in the last week. Nothing though today, but uh, of course we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, so yeah, we are out here in uh, the great state of Texas and um, just doing a little bit of R&R &R here. We will be providing some videos out here for the folks here, the viewers of this channel. I do like to share what my eyes are seeing with my subscribers and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'll, I'll upload a video here uh, tonight where we're at, at least here uh, beach view absolutely beautiful uh, weather and uh, some warm seawaters down here in the Gulf of Mexico area all right um, let me know if you felt this earthquake by the way up there in the uh, Los Angeles area Newport Beach region 3.6 3.4 1.6 we'll keep an eye on it Stay safe out there. The best thing to do is be prepared. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening uh, when I throw up a, uh, a little video here of the uh, current view. Have a good night. Catch you guys back out here in the morning. Missy Mimi's. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> I was waiting on her, but she's not even looking this way. So, All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you a little bit later.